Well, we're here with Mr. G today, and we're looking at some beveled points, and we certainly see some nice varieties here, uh, and we're interested in the Lost Lake variety today. Mr. G, can you tell us a little bit about these points today? Okay. Well, the Lost Lake is one of my favorite points. They call it a knife because of the way it's been sharpened and because it's, it's been... uh, a characteristic point of the archaic period, which is, makes it very old, five or 10,000 years old at least. And it's a point that is, in this region, the southeast, it's not common. It's a pretty rare point, especially in, these, in this condition. But it extends from the west of the Mississippi River and all the way into the east and up to the Midwest, Ohio and Indiana, Ohio region, all the way to Florida and the south. So it's a big region. And uh, it's a corner-notched point, which means that it's a triangular point. And it's always notched for the haft or for the handle that it was put on from the corner. The base is always ground on them. And they're always double beveled. That means they're sharpened usually from the top and turned over with the secondary flaking method, which is with an antler tip. And they will get a real fine, sharp edge. This could be the preform before they notched it of a lost lake. It's real sharp. This is called a Cobb's Triangular in this region it, because it's not notched but it is double beveled and sharpened to such a fine edge I wish you could see and feel how sharp it is it's it's almost uh, you gotta be careful handling it so thin these are classic examples of Lost Lake points always double beveled always corner notched and ground at the base we think to keep from splitting the, the half so easily if you can get a look at it from the front, you can see the rhomboid feature of the frontal view of it because of the the flaking sharpening technique. And that is a beautiful point. Mm -hmm. Their colors, boy, are they, they they think that sometimes they picked out the material, you know, to make a specific point. And they had that artistic appeal, certain stones did, and others of course were just uh, utilitarian, but you can see that these are just almost works of art. What's a little smaller one there? Okay. Now it's the same era. I'm not going to call it a lost lake exactly, but it's the same time period. It's archaic. It could be a lost lake. It could be a dovetail, or it could be a decatur. But uh, it's been resharpened to almost exhaustion. What, mean, what that means is, you know, it's almost gone. <laughs> it's almost a drill form right now. If we started out with a preform of this size, and you can imagine... If you resharpen it a few times, you've got that. And then you work it down to this. Eventually, while it's still on the haft, you're flaking it and sharpening. You, you end up with something that's almost a drill form. It's so, so narrow. But it's, it's that characteristic double bevel sharpening technique that removes that material. And, and they were genius enough to be able to sharpen it, and it's still on the haft or the handle. So they had a sharp knife with them all the time, just like we do nowadays. These certainly are some excellent examples of lost lakes. We'll get a little closer look at this multicolored one here. Large one, the Cobb's Triangle, perhaps a preform of the lost lake. And these two beautiful lost lakes here. Well, Mr. G, I appreciate it. And uh, we'll look forward to some future videos of some other points that you have. Right, thank, thank you. have an excellent example of a lost lake here that Mrs. B had found in the remote past. Give us a history on this point, Mrs. B. Well, about 30 years ago, my husband and I were out looking for arrowheads, and um, we had to cross several fields to get to the field we wanted to look in. And they had just plowed this field. We're fixing to plant it, and we asked if we could look, and they said we could. And when I found this arrowhead, all I saw was the very tip of it sticking out of the ground. And I wasn't really expecting to find this whenever I pulled on that tip. Excellent. Let's look at some characteristics on this lost lake. We see the beveling on both sides. we we'll turn it over. We can see the opposite beveling. And the unique characteristic of these archaic points also is the basal grinding that's on the point. But this is in perfect condition and uh, some beautiful flint. Thank Mrs. B for sharing this uh, unique arrowhead with us.